dear students in this video i am going to explain how to solve numericals of convex lens or also known as converging lens i am taking question number 10 ncert page number 186 you can check in your book also in this question we have given with object distance that is denoted by small u 25 cm i have taken sign convention also that is minus because we know that object distance is all, always negative object height is also given that is taken by ho or h simply that is 5 cm it is always positive focal length small f it is 10 cm with sign convention positive because we are using convex lens converging lens is also known as convex lens because it converges all the light towards a point now we'll start solving this question by using lens formula that is 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f putting all the values carefully and reciprocating it at last 1 by v is 15 by 250 reciprocal that is v is equal to 250 by 15 or you can cross multiply it same thing you will get 16.66 cm or 250 by 15 cm the positive value of v shows that image is formed at the other side of the lens because this is a lens the light will pass through the lens and the image will be forming at other side this indicate this is indicated by positive sign if the sign was negative yeah sign is negative then the image is forming on the same side of the object continue we have to calculate magnification the so formula of magnification we know height of image divided by height of object is equal to v by u because this is the lens so we do not use minus sign but we do not have the value of uh, hi so we can calculate directly by using the relation m is equal to v by u u we have minus 25 cm given in question v we have calculated right now the 16.66 with positive sign the answer will be 0.66 with negative sign again the negative sign in this value indicates the image is real and inverted if the magnification is negative the image is real and inverted if it is positive then it is image is virtual and erect continue magnification we have got 0.66 in negative and we have to calculate height of the image now we can easily calculate by using the relation m is equal to hi by ho hi we have to calculate ho is 5 cm given with plus sign m we have calculated minus 0.66 will multiply it answer will be minus 3.3 cm the negative value of image height indicates that image is formed inverted next the major thing in this question is we have to draw the diagram also for the same value the first we'll calculate all the value we can use that value to draw the diagram but it is not easy because the values we can see the the uh, height of image is not very difficult 5 cm we can take but the major problem is the value given for object distance that is 25 cm and we know that the scale that we generally use having the maximum value 15 cm thus we are using a technique known as scale diagram what is that scale diagram we have to take a scale that same we take in geography map uh, same technique we'll use in physics also so what scale we should take we'll take scale of 5 cm we'll convert 25 cm into 5 cm we'll take a scale of 5 like 25 divided by 5 is 5 cm height of object 5 cm divided by 5 it will turn into 1 cm we have given with three values that were what were the values given the values was object distance 25 cm if the scale we have taken 5 it will change automatically into minus 5 cm object this height is given 5 cm automatically it will change into 1 cm 
and focal length is 10 centimeter it will be automatically changed into 2 centimeter we have taken a scale of 5 by this way you can reduce the scaling and then you can easily draw the diagram thus AB that is you are watching in this video that AB is 5 centimeter actually we have taken it is 1 centimeter you can see OA the distance of object the return is 25 centimeter we have taken how much 5 centimeter and will the draw, the draw the diagram with the rule of diagrams first lay parallel to principal axis it will pass through focus second ray optical center it will go straight and meet at a point in between f2 and 2f2 that is the formation of image we'll take scale we'll measure it we'll write the value and at last we'll multiply every value by 5 then we'll get the real answer because initially we have taken a scale that is of 5 so at last when we calculate the answer we have to multiply the answer by 5 so that we'll get the real answer thank you very much practice again and again